Hi and welcome back to Learn Media Direct. In this video you will be learning about media theories, uses and gratifications and marketing theory. I know this sounds long and boring but we're going to ensure you get your head around this the fun way. All the way back in 1987, media theorist John Hartley suggested that media producers must enter into a relationship with their consumers. In context to Harlem FM, this means that they must engage with their listeners and ensure that they feel connected to the station and the presenters. In 1991, Yen said that producers should create invisible fictions or imaginary entities before creating a media product. With this in mind, we've created a dream audience profile of Big John at Breakfast to help you understand these theories in depth. Firstly, we thought about what type of people tune into Big John at Breakfast. Using our knowledge and Bauer's listener profile, we discovered that mums are the number one listeners to the show, as 51% of female aged 25 to 45 have the largest demographic target age. We have created a mood board with all of the things an average listener of a breakfast show would stereotypically enjoy. Things like TV, soaps, Iceland, frozen foods, Michael Bublé and Fifty Shades of Grey are of interest of these types of people. The average mum watches the soaps because they can relate to it and it provides an alternative reality. This is a voyeuristic value of soaps. This simply means to take pleasure out of watching them. People enjoy the problems and issues in these programmes without it affecting their lives. Soaps are also a stimulus for social conversations. Ice and frozen foods have targeted mums via their advertising. The shop is notorious for its cheap, affordable food which benefits working class and underclass families. Michael Bublé is known amongst all older women as a sex symbol as they find him highly attractive and a ladies man. Mums love the Fifty Shades book series by E.L. James because like voyeurism of soaps, this provides them with an intimate alternative reality. In 1987, Dennis McQuail did some research and suggested that there are four main reasons why people use media products. Number one, personal identity. This means to mould their own behaviour, style and personality around products they consume. Big Janet Breakfast creates a personal identity for their listeners by advertising which shops their listeners should buy clothes at, which restaurants they should eat at and even what music they should listen to. Number two, personal relationship. This means to create a basis for conversation and social situations. Big John does this by discussing the local news, gossip and TV biz. Number three, surveillance. This means to find out information about something. In relation to Harlem FM, Big John at Breakfast uses this by broadcasting the local traffic updates, school closures and local news. It also announces the local events in the local area such as who's playing at the arena and whom each football team are playing at the weekend. Finally, number four, escapism. This means to use media to get away from reality and to enjoy the entertainment. Big John at Breakfast gives their listeners escapism by having all different types of competitions where their audience can get involved. For example, Big John pays your bills. This competition allows their listeners to ring in and win a chance for their bills to be paid up to the value of £250. It is sponsored by Robin Hood Airport, Doncaster, Sheffield. This competition is very thoughtful to their audience as they are aware of everyone maybe struggling for the money following the expenses of Christmas and New Year. In 1983, media theorist Jeremy Tunstall did some research and came up with the media consumption theory. He said that media is consumed in three ways. Number one, primary. This means that the consumer really concentrates on the media. Number two, secondary. This means that the consumer is doing other things whilst the media is on. Number three, tertiary. This means that the consumer is paying subliminal attention to the medium and it is playing in the background. Now that times have changed due to the new technologies, radio is now a primary media as you can broadcast it while sat on the bus, whilst doing some revision or even whilst laid in the bath. In terms of Big John at Breakfast, new technologies have helped the show interact with the audience more. Listeners can now text in, ring in and even tweet the show to request their favourite song, update the traffic news and get involved with the competitions. Media producers use the marketing theory in order to be successful. This theory is called ADA. It stands for Attention, Interest, Desire and Action, but we'll go through it in order to tell you what each piece of it means and how it is used in Harlem FM. A. Attention and also awareness. This basically means to attract the attention of the customer. Big John does this by being very friendly, upbeat and down to earth. His exciting tone of voice engages the listener, making them enjoy the show. I. Interest. This means to raise the customer's interest by focusing on and demonstrating advantages and benefits. Rather than focusing on features as in traditional advertising, Harlem FM does this by advertising local businesses, promoting themselves on buses, sponsoring local football teams and broadcasting local events. D. Desire. This means to convince the customer that they want and desire the product or service and that it will satisfy their needs. Big John at Breakfast creates a financial desire with their listeners as he has competitions where the listener can win huge amounts of money. A. Action. 
This means to lead customers towards taking action and or purchasing. Harlem FM does this by encouraging their listeners to get involved by requesting songs. Ada applies not only to her adverts but also to Harlem FM as a whole via shows and the Bauer brand in order to connect with their audience sufficiently. We are sadly at the end of another vlog. I hope you've learned a lot about marketing, uses and gratifications and how Harlem FM uses these. Thanks for watching again from Learn Media Direct.